The Federal Highway Research Institute, BAST, is the practice-orientated technical scientific research institute of the German government in the field of road engineering. It operates a test facility in the area of Köln-Ost motorway junction that is unique in this form. One of the main tasks that BAST must undertake is to adapt the road infrastructure to tomorrow's traffic requirements. This involves tackling the rise in freight traffic, and traffic will continue to increase, which means added congestion. This is the challenge we want to address. The Köln Ost motorway junction. More than 200,000 vehicles pass through this section of the motorway every day. Here, in parallel to the A3, is the demonstration, investigation, and reference area of the Federal Highway Research Institute. In short, Durabast. The entire site covers an area of around 25,000 square meters and has a total length of approximately one kilometer. There are different bridge structures, a tunnel-like situation beneath a bridge, noise barriers and drainage installations, as well as open road sections. The site therefore represents an extensive miniature of today's road traffic infrastructure and the direct road environment. By establishing test sections and demonstrators, it enables full-scale realistic trials, including accelerated load testing and durability tests. Measurement vehicles are also tested here before they start monitoring the condition of our federal trunk roads as part of the national maintenance planning. And because we have designated sections for trials, for investigations and as demonstrators, the Durabast provides the opportunity to embrace new ideas. We therefore want to test new construction materials and construction material mixtures, as well as novel construction types and new building processes. The objective of the tests on the Durabast is to be able to build and operate a safe, reliable, durable, low emission and sustainable road infrastructure. To this end, tests will be conducted to optimise asphalt and concrete pavement constructions. In addition, innovative processes will be developed and tested and new ideas pursued. These include, for example, generating energy from the road, which can directly be used for regulating the temperature of the pavement to prevent damage by heating pavements in winter and cooling them in summer. What is referred to as a smart bridge will also be tested here, a sensor-based modular system to monitor and holistically evaluate relevant information about changes to impact and resistance in real time. In general, we focus greatly on the durability of the road. In other words, we want the layers of the structure to last longer. This benefits road users. Firstly, because we need to interfere with traffic less often, which in turn means no road works. While secondly, of course, we will need less taxpayers' money, as the whole thing is more economical. The site was officially opened in October 2017, after a two-year construction period, while work was carried out by the various trades. Slopes needed to be supported, embankments laid out and secured, and equipment for the infrastructure on the sections brought in. From the new operating building, the studies and tests on the Durabast will be controlled and the results evaluated. The regular surveying of the condition of road surfaces is an essential basis for the national maintenance planning on our federal trunk roads. In Germany, the condition of road surfaces on the federal trunk road network is monitored very regularly using fast-moving measuring systems. And needless to say, these measuring systems have to meet very high technical requirements for which BAST is responsible. BAST checks all measurement vehicles involved in the process and currently does this on real roads, out there in moving traffic. In order to plan maintenance work, it is important to know whether the road is skid resistant, whether it is even, and above all, of course, what the condition of the surface is like and whether there is any crack formation or broken corners. These factors are detected by the measurement vehicles. The reference sections on the Durabast offer defined and permanent surface properties, thereby permitting a uniform and reproducible quality assurance of the measuring systems. In addition to the technical testing of measurement vehicles, the reference sections will be used for further development of these measuring systems. Well, we have to say that the entire construction has really been a challenge for us. 
As you have seen, we have used standardised construction materials, such as asphalt or concrete. We also conduct the work using normal road building equipment. The demands, however, are naturally significantly higher. We need to work extremely accurately and then again, for example, construct a section in a different area that is very uneven because we also want to be able to practically reflect the poor properties of a pavement. It was therefore a challenge to build a section that has deliberately been built badly but will nevertheless last a long time. The procedure for new developments always follows the same rules. First, there are theoretical tests followed by the laboratory scale and then the practical test. Now, however, this is not done in flowing traffic, but involving realistic full-scale, accelerated pavement testing on the Durabast test site. In this way, the Durabast supports the promotion of innovation and effectively shortens the time between research and use in practice. The Durabast is, I believe, to date, a unique and globally unique facility that we are creating here. Time will tell how much industry will participate in it. We are very optimistic that, with innovative products, we will actually be able to make a substantial contribution. The Durabast has been designed for a service life of 30 years.